What's going on, everybody? So check this out because the internet is fucking fabulous. <laughs> Got the comment written down right here so I can read it so I don't like, uh, you know, say stuff that wasn't said or typed, however you want to put it. It's the internet. Yay! All right, so this douchebag, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, although I appreciate you using the KSR in standard tuning, you should understand the audience that pays attention to and or gives a half a shit about KSR amps. It is for the modern player with down-tuned guitars and aggressive styles of playing. Let's think on that for a second while I have a cup of coffee. We understand we are trying to get views and catering to the higher end market of amplification. Hence the wall of ridiculous amps that your low talent ass doesn't have the right to own. Another drink of coffee. Let's swallow that one down for a second. Furthermore, if you're going to put yourself out there, maybe do something better about your health. Being what's got to be four to 500 pounds of fat slob chugging open cords does no good for the brand. Figure your shit out and get back to us at another time when you're more suitable for the audience you're trying to target. Yeah. We'll vape to that. All right. Let's address some stuff. <laughs> I never use low tuning. I mean, I don't know what considered a low tuning, but, you know, I don't know. I just play what I feel, feel what I play, right? And furthermore, what's my audience I'm trying to target? Y'all know I do this shit out of boredom, right? I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Yeah, I'm a fat piece of shit. But believe it or not, I eat pretty fucking healthy and I don't eat a lot of food. Good doctors don't. Know why? The only thing is, is everything I eat is high in carbs, but I'm in a truck, so it's not like I can sit there and do freshies and eat perfect every day. Not that it's a good excuse, but for my health, getting out of the truck would be the only thing that would fix my health, as far as like me having bitch tits and shit. But at the end of the day, I'm okay with myself. I don't hate myself, and I'm having a lot of fun playing. Yeah, gear I have no business owning. Matter of fact, I wouldn't have this stuff. Honestly, if it wasn't for my friend Steve. My friend Steve is very kind. And when he's done with stuff, he gives me the opportunity to, you know, throw him some scratch here and there. And I end up with these sticks. But the guy is a solid good dude. I worry about him. He's a good dude. Been through some shit. But if it wasn't for Steve, I wouldn't have nothing on this rack. Well, except for the mask and the pedals, but... As far as amps in the cabinet, that all come from Steve, okay? That's the <laughs> the Steve rack. I'm going to get a framed picture of him to put up there because I think it's just funny that everything on that rack other than the pedals and the mask came from Steve. Yeah. So, yeah, so I don't cater to anyone, really, except for, well, if you like dick jokes and horrible guitar playing, I guess I'm catering to you. Which means I'm catering to myself. <laughs> but yeah, anyhow, I have a baritone today. We're just goofing off, having a good time with the KSR. I'm boosting it with my favorite boost pedal of all time. Uh, nothing has touched it. Sorry, all those builders out there, I love your stuff, but Deadwheeled Audio nailed it. They just nailed it. 
the Duality DX is by far the best boost money can buy. It just is. Sorry, folks, but that thing is a fucking beast. <laughs> Let's play some stupid riffs. Caveman chugs. And I'll turn off the mic so you get the direct audio so you can complain about that shit. <laughs>
There. Down tune riffs, man. <laughs> Jesus. Just a, a little point of reference, man. I love this amp. This KSR is fantastic. And I don't necessarily have to make it sound the way that you want it to sound. This amp, I'm going to make it sound like me. <laughs> I don't want to sound like anybody else. I'm 47 years old. Put that on your thinking cap for a second. I don't give a fuck to sound like anybody. I want to sound like me. I want the noises in my head that I want to hear on guitar come out that speaker. Now granted, I don't have the talent to get all that to come out. But I work at it, and I have fun with it. This to me is fun. I'm having a good fucking time. So, yeah, I know there's some people out there taking sumo-sized shits and even squatting over people to take the shit on them about uh, saying this is a hobby. It's for fun. But really, this is a hobby, and it's for fun. I make these videos because, well, you have people out there making super slick videos that look like fucking infomercials, and really, at the end of the day, they kind of sound like everybody else's videos and look like everybody else's videos that are doing it for a living. Why do you want to be part of that herd? There's a lot more to be done, a lot more to be said by just being unique and being yourself. You don't have to buy a KSR amp. If you don't have the money for a KSR amp, I don't need to hear you bitch about. It's an elitist thing. I want a KSR? I got a KSR. I probably would not have a KSR if it wasn't for Steve. Steve made this possible. All right? So, yeah. At the end of the day, you know, <laughs> it takes time to punch some more ignorant, hateful shit into the internet. All right? Take a few moments just to be kind to somebody today. If not me, somebody else, right? If you're going to put effort into something, don't put it into being an asshole. We all can be assholes. It comes naturally. Being a decent human being takes some work. So the other day, I'm telling you, stop being fucking lazy. All right? And if you want things like expensive amps, stop working at McDonald's. Everything's a choice. And I don't go, I don't have, I'm a high school dropout and I went and got a decent job. Anybody can do it. All right. I did not complete the 10th grade. I'm an idiot. And I make a good living. Why? Because I decided I wanted to make one. If you're okay not making one, then don't. But don't bitch at somebody because they found a way to, you know, get themselves something that you can't get. That's just stupid. And furthermore, why be a dick to me? If anybody's ever near the area I'm in or within a decent, reasonable drive, if you want to try this stuff, I don't mind, like, hanging out or whatever. So don't be a dick. You know, there's plenty of people with this stuff out here. Most people that have decent gear, um, granted, yes, there are some people that collect it to go, this is how big my dick is. But really, at the end of the day, I believe in KSR. Kyle Rhodes is a genius, and he is one of the nicest guys on the planet. Why would I not want to take and give somebody the opportunity to try one of his amps because they're like, well, I really don't want to spend three grand on something I'm not quite sure I'm going to like. Why would I not help support that? You know? At the end of the day, I'm not here to make a commercial for KSR. I'm here just to have some fun basically point out how fucking ignorant the internet is. I do that a lot. <laughs> Something else I point out is how petty some YouTubers are. Why? Well, sometimes it just, you watch it, and it's like everybody's doing the same fucking thing. The same thing. It's like everybody went crazy with this EVH iconic thing. I had one ordered, and I tried one. I personally did not like it. I thought it was way fizzy and super chimey and it just didn't have the thuddy thuds that I like. My preference. Not your preference. So what I do, I cancel my order and got a Angle Fireball 100 instead. Yes, it's a more expensive amp, but it's by far a superior amp and I'm happy. Will I put an Iconic on my channel? 
If someone will let me borrow one long enough to do a video, sure, I'll do it. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the worst amp on the planet for $1,000. It actually is a pretty good amp for $1,000. And it's market for, well, it's not a 100 watt amp, but it's not a 50 watt amp. It's kind of more on the 100 side, so we'll just call it a 100 watt amp because um, it pushes. It's loud. That amp, you can gig with it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's built very well. And yes, it's built in friggin' China, but it's built extremely well. But it's not for me, all right? It could be for you. You know, if you're the type that's like, I want a big boy amp, I can get one for a grand, go get it. It's not going to do you wrong. You'll have to funky play around with it, but you're going to get your tone. You're going to use whatever pedals or an EQ. Um, I had a guy tell me that the amp is absolutely phenomenal if you put a parametric EQ in the effects loop. He said it opens that amp and just makes it a, a wonderful, brutal amp. And I believe the guy. He's very smart. He knows the stuff. He kind of chases in the same tone area that I do. But all the stuff people did, all the hate that went around about it, and this, you got a few of us that were out there being silly about it, and then the internet fucking took a big shit on us being silly, and at the end of the day, yes, there's some of us that don't have to cater to companies to feel good about anything. If we don't like something, that's what we're all here for, opinions, right? And if everybody has the same opinion, everybody's making the same video, how genuine is that? Think about that. So yeah, back to KSR, right? I'm doing stuff on gear that your normal swinging dick going to the guitar center is not going to have. And a lot of people are like, oh, wow. A KSR, that's, that's interesting. It's interesting to me. I wanted one for a long time. I did not get the model that I wanted. But this amp right here is stupid good. <laughs> it's actually better than the one I wanted. So yeah, it's very cool. Steve's going to show me how to get his blue to turn to purple. Or he's going to tell me. I guess not show me, but tell me how to do it. Because I'm stupid and can't figure it out myself. Yeah, anyhow. This was drop B, by the way. This is an Ibanez baritone, um, what do they call it? An iron dick or something. Iron side. Uh, grid iron. I don't know. Iron label. There we go. Jesus Christ. I don't know what the hell guitar I have. Going into the Dead Wheel Duality DX, into the KSR Ortho Smart 2, using a Fort 2x12 cab, mic'd up with an SM57. Sorry about me going on a little rant, but waking up to having a message like that over a video, I literally hit record and played through that thing the first time. I didn't have it dialed in, I just played through it. <laughs> you fucking assholes. But yeah, this is fun, folks. It's a good time. And again, I say this at the end of all my videos, and the last part of it, I need you to pay attention. All right? Technically, pay attention to all three, because it's important to me. And this is my video, you piece of shit. Keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Ciao, motherfucker.